again, the old boy. Don't scare me like that. I thought you were asleep. I was. Did you sleep well? Like a log. Yeah. Danny O'Day's making a joke here. You see, he's made of wood. He's known as a ventriloquial figure. Yeah. And I'm a ventriloquist. Who are you talking to? The audience out there. Where? On the road? No, no, they're watching us on TV. They get to watch TV? Mm -hmm. And I'm stuck here listening to this flea dag snore? No, I wouldn't say that. Would you? You see, Danny, now you woke Farfel up. Mm, can a cute little doggy catch a cat nap around here? Cat nap? Yeah, I was dog tired. <laughs> I had to ask. You had to ask. Yeah. Hey, listen. Mm -hmm. Jimmy was about to tell us and the audience where we're going. Mm, audience? Yeah, we're on TV. Mm, I wish I'd known that. Why? I'd have worn my good collar. <laughs> you mean your flea collar? We're going to a school and we're going to do a show and tell the boys and girls about how to keep their lungs healthy. Mm, what are lungs? Well, far from lungs are organs in your body that allow you to breathe in and out. If you don't take care of them, you can get very sick. Mm, that's terrible. How do you take good care of them? Well, one of the best ways to keep your lungs good and healthy is never to smoke cigarettes. Mm, never? Never. Well, what do cigarettes do? Well, they can cause terrible diseases like uh, uh, lung cancer. Yeah, and emphysema. Yeah, they can also make you ugly. Is that what happened to you? I'm not ugly. I'm pretty. Yeah, you're pretty ugly. And I had a girlfriend once, and she was gorgeous. Gorgeous? Yeah, she smelled nice. She had nice white teeth. What happened? Yeah, she started to smoke. Pretty soon she smelled like tobacco. Her teeth turned brown and yellow. What about her breath? Rough, rough, very rough. Hey, what are you gonna tell the kids when we get to the school? Well, Danny, we're gonna tell the boys and girls all about the dangers of smoking cigarettes. Hmm, are we going to the school now? Well, let's stop for a minute and get a bite to eat. Oh, great, there's a place over there. Pull over. Mm, yes, I could really use a bite. Hey, waitress, I didn't get my fries. Yeah, and I didn't get to put on a glass slipper and go to the ball. You don't hear me screaming about it across the restaurant, do you? Well, actually, I do. Keep it quiet. Nobody asked you. What do you guys want? Oh, uh, we'd like a better table. Then go to a furniture store. If you want food, here's a menu. Hey there, short, dark, and wooden. Why, why is she looking at Danny like that? I think he's cute. I like a well-dressed man carved out of wood. Tell me more. Wait a minute, I thought you were through with women. Wait, I'll be through in a minute. I've been pining away for years for a man made out of wood. Pining? Hey, maybe if I threw up, we could dance? Okay, but no clothes dancing. No, why not? No, oh, splinters. <laughs> she catches on fast, just she does. You're a pretty lady now, but are you a smoker? Smoker? Did you say smoker? I just didn't want you to turn ugly. You want to see me turn ugly? Just try lighting up a cigarette like those guys over there. I don't want to breathe in secondhand smoke. Makes my eyes burn and gives me a sore throat. Well, well, what's secondhand smoke? Well, far from secondhand smoke is a smoke from a smoker's burning cigarette. You see, the smoke he exhales fills up the air in the room. Smoke fills the air. So does garlic. <laughs> yes, but when those guys come in here and smoke, I have to breathe it in all day long. You see, Farfel, if someone chooses to smoke, they're not only risking their own health, but the smoke they blow out into the room, everyone else has to breathe it too, and that's bad for your lungs. That's why I'm so grumpy. I used to be friendly until I spent years breathing in other people's secondhand smoke. Well, my cute little gruntiness, we're going to a school to tell the kids about the dangers of smoking cigarettes. Well, my little Pinocchio, be sure and tell them to stay away from secondhand smoke as much as possible too. You don't like secondhand smoke, do you? Not really. The last time I breathed some in, I got so dizzy, I started seeing spots. I thought Tharpa was a Dalmatian. You're so cute. Yeah. I want to give you a peck on the cheek. Well, the last one that said that the knee was a woodpecker, but go ahead. <laughs> Timber! <laughs> oh. 
Well, did you guys enjoy lunch? Mm, it was okay. Yeah, I thought she was, uh, I mean, it was dreamy. Mm, it should have been cooked by dogs. Why dogs? Mm, they would have made it from scratch. <laughs> Boy, that waitress sure didn't like cigarettes, did she? Well, there's not much to like about them, Danny. Yeah, they're bad for you if you smoke them. Yeah. And that secondhand smoke hurts others around you. It, it, it makes your hair and your breath smell bad. And it costs money, too. Mm, how much does it cost? Well, let me put it this way, Farfel. If you smoked a pack a day for a year, you have spent enough money to buy a, a mm, doghouse, <laughs> at least. Yeah. You could buy a lot of things at the store. Hey, Farfel doesn't buy things at the store. He shops at a flea market. <laughs> so why do people buy them and smoke them if they do all that bad stuff to you? Farfel, you ever see those magazine ads about cigarettes? Yeah. They say, slug cigarettes and be cool, and everyone will like you. That's right, Farfel. Ads like that are everywhere. In magazines, store ads, t-shirts, many other places, too. Mm, but ads like that aren't even true, are they? Not everyone will like you if you smoke. That waitress didn't like smokers. Then she liked me, that you don't smoke. I know. Hey, we're almost there. No goody. Showtime. And away we go. <laughs>